I'm Asia. Welcome back to my series. Today, I am going full hair guru on you. Did you see those angles earlier? It's okay. No, I do it if you need to. Yeah, I can. But honestly, it's that time of the year when I trim my ends. I try and do a big trim about every five to six months, depending on how dry my ends are. So I figured, why not give a quick tutorial? This is not a cut, I'll just be trimming the bottom to get rid of split ends. And after, I will be twisting my hair into braids, yes! This video is inspired by some of my favorite female influencers, Yara Shahidi, Sierra, and Zendaya, who never stop rocking their natural hair and sporting braided looks that add variety and diversity to the hair world. Plus, they give me life. Literally, the nourishment I need to just wake up in the morning so yeah most importantly i love them and i made this video just so i can put that out there anyways uh there are a bunch of other gorgeous curly black ladies rocking twist i will definitely add their names and links to their pictures in the description box below also shout out to wit aka natural 85 and brie hall both on youtube who inspired this tutorial brie hall does a lot of hair skin and art inspired videos she sings as well which is really cool and natural 85 is an og hair expert on youtube and also the creator of melanin the hair care line i don't know them personally i'm just a fan of their work so ladies if you're watching this keep killing it all right, let's get into it. All right, so I like to start off with a freshly washed and detangled head of hair. Say hello to my name. She's sensitive to bad hair days, but she's having a good one here, so she's feeling really good. I first section my hair into five braids on each side. My hair already has product in it from when I initially detangled my whole head, but because my hair is so dry, I add a little bit more butter and oil as needed. I usually start from the back, but I worked from the front so you can see. To start, undo the first braid and detangle the first half starting with your wide tooth comb. Then onto your detangling brush. Then on to using your fine tooth comb. As you detangle, you'll notice where you're getting a lot of resistance close to the bottom. That's where you're going to trim. You can actually feel the texture change and see it as well. Comb through a few more times and once you find the sweet spot where your split ends start, clamp the end piece with your first finger and middle fingers and snip with your shears. This is actually my first time using this trimming method. It's Natural 85's method and I really loved how it came out because I was able to see and control how much I took off so this worked really well for me. Repeat until the back quarter section of your hair is trimmed and then we move into styling it. Use your comb or fingers, section a small row and grab a small piece for your first braid. Now I have to be honest, I definitely eyeball it so my parts are never straight, but my twists cover up the parts so it still comes out really nice and it saved me some time. Take a little bit of gel, I use gel and oil together because my hair is really dry, and gently work it into the root of your hair. Then I do a special trick and start with a three strand braid at the top and then twist all the way down. My hair goes straight from the root, so this helps to hold my twist together. Then I add a little bit of gel to the end to stop the braid from unraveling, and repeat. my braids down the middle because I usually wear it to the side and it looks better if the part is centered. And voila! So this is the finished look. 
It lasts for about as long as you want it to. I would just recommend retwisting the front and whatever braids in the back need to be refreshed over time. You don't have to style your hair this way after a trim. I just like to twist it because it's already clean and parted while I'm trimming and it's a great excuse to slip in a different hairstyle every once in a while. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there are all sorts of ways to trim curly hair, including going curl by curl. And last but not least, visiting a hairstylist who actually knows how to do curly hair because I am not an expert, so please don't sue me if you tried any of these tips and they did not work. <laughs> but honestly, be empowered to try trimming your own curly hair. If you make a mistake, it's not that noticeable because because every curl is its own individual self and they all support each other at the end of the day. So if one decides to play dead, you best believe the other will jump in and have enough life for all the others. Can I get an amen? And that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. It is my first official hair tutorial and I'm just really excited to share this with you all. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. I was really trying to go for a Yara Shahidi look and you know it's just because she gives me life but let me know what you think about this look and how everything turned out. Also please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications when I drop new videos. I'm Asia and this is Asia Spell Backwards. Mm -hmm.